If you're if you're looking for me on Deadwood, uh, it's been canceled. So. <laughs> Over a year now. <laughs> Which is why I'm back doing this. <laughs> ah man, this gray shit, man. I've been looking at this gray shit. <laughs> starting to hit me now, you know? It's funny, for a long time it didn't bother me at all, you know, I got a little gray beard, that was cool, but the joke was when I got that, that first gray pubic hair, that was the one. <laughs> you know, that was a shock, you know, that was... <laughs> I said, boy, this shit is getting serious now. <laughs> this Asian shit is not bullshit now. Oh, it's fucking with my dick! <laughs> this is what's going on. Great. I was just looking at it, staring at it. You know, my girlfriend said, oh, don't worry, it just makes your dick look distinguished. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really? You think so? Yeah. You ought to buy it a pipe. Very intelligent, very, very smart dick. Very reflective dick. <laughs> yeah, she was a good girlfriend. You know, she's gone now. Yeah, she was funny. We, you know, we, she was kind of, she was witty, you know, and uh, kind of volatile, though. You know, when she'd go off, get me pissed off, you know. She, she had dyslexia, that was her thing, you know. So whenever she would piss me off, I would just take her to a foreign movie. <laughs> Wouldn't say nothing. Just let her deal with them subtitles for a couple of hours. <laughs> she was cool. Yeah, you get that pubic hair, man. Makes you think about shit, weird shit. <laughs> Pubics are weird anyway. I mean, they are. Because when you think about it, you know, remember, you know, you can never remember when there was just one. <laughs> you know, it's the strange thing about it. When puberty hits you, man, one night you go to bed, you're just nothing, and next morning you wake up, oh shit, what's going on? They're all there. All of them, you never remember. You know, right? At that predetermined length. <laughs> yeah, you know, totally a predetermined length. Never goes past it. You can let them, you, know, you can forget about your pubics for years, never even think about that shit. You know? <laughs> no, it's weird. What's weird, because when you think about that, you say, now why is that, you know? Mother Nature control the length, you know, lets us control the length of all our other kind of hair, right? But what? But you know, she said, "No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my own control at, at that pubic shit. I'm gonna do that. I'll have to. That's my domain." You know, right? And I'm actually very glad. I'm actually glad. You know, I think that was a good decision because you know, if Mother Nature had let you know human beings be in charge of their pubic hairs, you know that with individuality being what it is and Poor hygiene people. Right? You know there are some people who would just never cut their pubics ever. <laughs> you know it. Could you live in a world with wild pubics, man? Not me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going down for that. No. Uh -uh. You know what I mean? I mean, you imagine if Dennis Rodman had kept control? Don King, would you want Don King in control of his pubic region? Shit, man, look what he's done to his fucking hair. You know, what would 
make a wino, you know, cut his pubics, huh? Peer pressure? You know, a couple of winos walk up to him and say, hey, Fred, you know we really like getting loaded with you every fucking day. You know what I mean? But you know, man, you gotta, you gotta fucking cut your pubics, man. <laughs> fucking down to your shoes. Got so much snapping and growling coming out of there. You know? Everybody's scared to step over you on the street. I say, wow, you think I got crabs? Crabs, man, you got alligators in there. 